Picture this, you're baking cookies and the recipe calls for either baking soda or baking powder. But what's the real difference? Both are leavening agents, but they work in unique ways. Baking soda is pure sodium bicarbonate, while baking powder contains sodium bicarbonate plus an acid. This difference changes how they react in your batter and ultimately how your baked goods turn out. Let's dive deeper into their chemistry. Baking soda needs an acid to activate. Think buttermilk, yogurt, or lemon juice. When combined, it produces carbon dioxide bubbles, making your dough rise. If there's no acid in your recipe, baking soda won't do much except leave a soapy taste. That's why it's crucial to check your ingredients before reaching for the baking soda. It's all about the right chemical reaction for the perfect rise. Baking powder, on the other hand, is a complete package. It contains both the base, sodium bicarbonate, and a powdered acid, usually cream of tartar. Most baking powders are double acting, meaning they release gas twice, once when mixed with wet ingredients and again when heated in the oven. This gives your cakes and muffins a reliable fluffy lift, even if there's no acidic ingredient in the recipe. So what happens if you swap one for the other? If you use baking soda instead of baking powder, your baked goods might not rise unless there's enough acid present. On the flip side, using baking powder instead of baking soda can make things taste bitter or metallic, especially if the recipe already has acid. The balance of ingredients is key to getting the right flavor and texture every time. Ever noticed a recipe that uses both baking soda and baking powder? That's not a mistake. Sometimes recipes need the extra lift from baking powder and the browning or flavor boost from baking soda. This combo is especially common in recipes with just a little acid. Enough to activate the soda, but not enough for a full rise. It's a clever way to control both taste and texture in your favorite treats. Let's talk about taste. Baking soda can help with browning and adds a subtle tang, but too much leaves a soapy aftertaste. Baking powder is more neutral, but overdoing it can make things taste metallic. That's why precise measuring is crucial. Even a little extra can throw off the flavor of your baked goods. The right amount ensures your cookies, cakes, and breads taste as good as they look. In summary, baking soda and baking powder aren't interchangeable, but each has a special role in baking. Baking soda needs acid and helps with browning, while baking powder is a self-contained leavening agent for recipes without acid. Mastering when and how to use each will transform your baking results. Next time you're in the kitchen, you'll know exactly which one to grab for that perfect rise in flavor.